Hi, I'm Julian Trutman with SMU Guildhall's Cohort 15. Today we're going to be introducing Unreal Script. This is segment 1 of 2. We're going to be using Unreal version 7637. My teammates are Benjamin Pope and Derek Jansen. Today's date is January 22, 2011. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to have downloaded UDK version 7637, NFRINGE, that's N-F-R-I-N-G-E, and Microsoft Visual 2010, as well as Microsoft.net. Okay, let's get started. After we've downloaded all of these programs, the first thing we're going to need to do in Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 is activate our license for EngFringe. This is going to give us some useful tools like IntelliSense and keyword highlighting. To do that, let's go up to Help, go down to EngFringe License Manager, and select that. Here in EngFringe License Manager, uh, PixelMine in French licensing, it's going to give us a line right here. If you have this line or not, we're still going to click Add. We're going to come down to I'm using Infringe for non-commercial project and select that. Then we're going to type in the name of our studio and the name of our project. In our case, I put Guildhall and project name Guildhall. Then we're going to have to put in a valid email address and Infringe will send you an email which you'll select and this will allow it to activate the license. So go ahead and do that and we'll assume that you have that done. When that changes, this will go from status inactive or no license to active. Once that happens, we can close it out. Okay, let's start off by creating a new Unreal project. Let's go File, New, Project, and here with Infringe selected, we'll have a new option, Unreal Script. Let's select Unreal Engine 3 Licensee Project, and here let's change the name. For the sake of this tutorial, let's call this Unreal Tutorial Project. And then we need to select the source location. To do this, let's click Browse, and we can go to UDK, UDK, Development, and source. This is the folder that we want to select, so let's hit select folder. Before we create this project type, we're also going to want to unselect create directory for solution. Let's go ahead and hit OK. That's going to build a new project here. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do are change some of the default properties in this Unreal Tutorial project. To do that, let's right click in the Solution Explorer, go down to Properties, and select that. Here, first in General, we're going to take Unreal Target Game and go to Unreal Engine 3 Mod and select that. Next, in the UCC Path, let's open this up, and here we want the UDK EXE. So let's find that by going to UDK, UDK, Binaries, Win32, and by scrolling down until we find the UDK EXE. Let's open that up. Next, in the reference source path, we're going to select the source folder, the same source folder that our Unreal tutorial project is in. Let's open that up. UDK, UDK, Development, Source, and select that folder. Okay, next we're going to want to move down to the Build section, and we're going to want to click on Include Unpublished Scripts in Build, as well as in Configuration, let's change it to All Configurations. Next, we can move down to Debug, and in Debug, we need to change the Start Game Executable, and this needs to also be the UDK.exe. Let's go to UDK, UDK, Binaries, Win32, and scroll down to UDK EXE. Now, we're, later we're going to want to change load map at startup, but for now let's leave that blank. Let's move on to disable startup movies, enable unpublished mods, force windowed mode, and open log window at position 00. Here we also are going to want to add minus log, and we're all done here for the moment. The next important step in getting this project rolling is making a slight change to the INI file. To do that, we're going to need to go and open up our UDK again. Let's open up UDK, UDK, UDK Game, 
config and scroll down until we find UDK engine.ini. Let's open that up. Now inside this file, we can hit Control F to find, and we're going to look for Unreal ED. We're going to find next a couple of times, and we get to Unreal Ed.editor engine. We can scroll down to the bottom of that section, and we're going to add in a new line of code, which I've already added here, which is mod edit packages equals Unreal Tutorial Project, or the name of the particular project that you want Unreal to compile. Uh, by putting this line in here, this will make Unreal recognize the particular uh, folder that you want as one of the folders that it needs to compile during its build. So once we've uh, added that in, we can save and close out that INI file. And now we're ready to open up a new Unreal script file. Let's go to File, New, New File, and here let's open up a generic text file. Here, the first thing we can do is type in class, and we're going to call this deathmatch underscore super regen which will create the base for the script we'll write in the next tutorial. And we'll say extends UT deathmatch, semicolon. And now it's important that we save this out. So what we'll do is we'll go to File, Save Text File As, and we're, what we're going to want to do is open up our project directory in UDK Development Source and let's scroll down until we get to Unreal Tutorial Project. Let's open that up, and what we're going to need to do is create a new file, new folder, and we're going to name this folder Classes. Now let's open that folder up, and inside this folder we're going to save our new script. Uh, when saving out this new class, we need to make sure that the name of our file is the same name as the class that we've just declared. So let's call this deathmatch underscore super regen. And then we're going to put a dot uc after that. Let's save that out. And we can already see that IntelliSense is highlighting our particular text. So let's save uh, the entire project. Uh, and close out and boot up Visual Studios again. Now that that's open, we can go and open our project, Project Solution, UDK, UDK, Development, Source. Scroll down to Unreal Tutorial Project and open up our project. We can see that it's parsing new files, and this will be because it's now taking into account all of the uh, source hierarchy for Unreal. So now that we've got all that selected, uh, let's save the project again, and we'll end the tutorial here. We'll begin the next tutorial by talking about building a very basic Unreal script. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.